Oh no! Yuri! Come on! My ass is twitching. What's a twitching? Come on, Nacho! Oh, what the hell was that? In Leicester, Lee sits down for some quality telly. Okay, so basically, this girl is really famous through YouTube. Hi, I'm Belle Daphne, and welcome to my room tour. Belle Daphne, or Belle Daphne, as I called her. Belle Daphne is back apparently on YouTube, and uh, she has she, she's joined the adult filming industry apparently, and uh, she claims she has the world's largest sex toy collection. Very nice, very nice, simple and lovely. How can I do the Mix it up, boy. What? Look at them! There's a lot of wood there. Let me get a little frosting on the top. She's mixing it all up in she. She's got the, she's got the, the sex. She's got the gaming. She's got the anime, skateboard. She she knows what she's doing. She knows what she's doing. Yeah. You do need gagging. Permanently. Who watches her stuff? She's got a spider creeping on, on the screen for no reason. Very nice. And a corner on the cob up the ass as well. That's a new one. And a random penguin. This stuff is so... Ooh, I mean... Ah. Uh. That's replicating cocaine. She's got a hamster as well in her mouth. She knows what she's doing, this girl. I'm so confused. It's just all an act, isn't it? The whole thing is just an act. She's just created this character for YouTube. She has the master sword dildo. Link would be furious. Well, probably not actually. Slay the beast. <laughs> We've got the lightsaber cock as well. She does like Zelda though, because I've seen a few things now that she clicks. So she is, she's got a, some sort of something right up here. Not a lot. This girl's cuckoo. Touch my princess parts. I'm so 
Halo. And just this world. I wonder what a real name, that can't be a real name. Wow. Lee struggles to see what's so exciting about tiny food. Okay, so this one's ASMR. I've, I've, I've no idea what ASMR is. I just, all I know is I've seen Capaldi doing a, a take on it once. It was really funny. What? Oh, she's got f small pieces of food. She's got like a tiny onion the size of like your fingernail and a piece of steak. Oh no, she clicked to open it. So it's all about noises. Ah, the knife's not going in. She's got Pikachu and a Pokeball. Who is she feeding this to? <laughs> this is had like over 12 million views. She's slicing the smallest piece of beef. She's got everything, the chopping board, the bowl, oh, the baking tray as well. Oh, don't tell me she's got a miniature oven as well. Who watches this? Oh my God, I, should, I think that was a dirty, I won't be eating that. She's got salt, pepper, and powders, and sauces, and stuff in tiny little pots. So much effort! She's mixing up in a small little glass dish. Where did she get all this, this pottery and all these bits from? You know, there's like a, is it a family, the, 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 the hamster family toys that, that people collect, really sad people. That's what these are from, all these things are from them. Not Sesame Street, that's something else. Oh, well, there's a, there's a, I don't know what it's called. Oh no, this is ridiculous. Ah, oh, she's got a baby oven. She's using a flipping candle to cook with. This is like a living, breathing animal crossing, isn't it? Oh no. is this if you've watched this fruit all the way to the end of this meal you need to sort your life out I wonder what chef Ramsay Gordon Ramsay thinks of this idiot sandwich <laughs> what are you for 15 minutes. It's the smallest little piece of food in the world. It's probably going to fit on one spoon. If that. Oh, she's got a rice on a baby plate. She's got, we're talking 12 grains of rice, 15 grains of rice. Um, I can't, I can't cope. Oh, she's eating it.
I don't know what to say. I I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say with that. How has that got 12 million views? How 12 million people have watched someone cook a spoonful of food. Got too much time on your hands. Go to work. Or go to school. Lee Chappie's obsessed with science. He thinks we'll be in Mars in a couple of years. Oh, that was completely out there, weren't it? And from completely out there to really out there. So NASA will attempt to fly a mini helicopter on Mars for the first time. If successful, it'll be the first ever powered flight on Mars. Obviously, we know they've landed on Mars and we've seen some photos now. But it could pave the way for other aircraft, which could travel through Mars quicker than rovers and cross rugged terrain. We might be able to see more of the planet and see what it is. Uh, hopefully they don't awaken the demons of doom. Can you imagine if they did? Hell on Earth. Through a portal. <laughs> we have some great news for you. We have lifted off a helicopter on Mars. The bad news is we've opened the damnation of eternal hell on Earth. <laughs> Mars. It's a very unique aircraft that is capable of that kind of flight with the blade spinning at 40 RPM. So this is the stuff you should be watching. Not that last stuff. This is science. This will this will change the way the humans go. Not Belle Dufine collecting some of her massive cocks. That's not going to change the world. Might change hers. A satellite uh, image if we can pull that up, that shows where the rover landed. Mind you, uh, that collection of cocks might fight off the uh, the demons of hell if we do open a portal. Maybe she could use them like the Doomslayer. <laughs> Big floppy rubber cock. Meters. Uh, and then we will hover in place. Uh, for about 30 seconds and make a turn with the helicopter while we're hovering and then come down and land again And we have an engineering simulation uh, Here that shows what that flight might look like above the airfield. It's amazing that they've got that there already. Do you not know I mean? It's gonna be it's gonna be an exciting 10 years of, of science Can't wait to see more of Mars. It's gonna be awesome and Eventually, I think humans will be there Eventually, it's going to take a long time. I think I think humans were already there. To be fair, I think they already were. I think I think that was our original planet, and I think we was we, we ruined it a bit like Wall-E. I think we completely ruined it, and then something catastrophic happened. But before we all died and were extinct on Mars, I think we sent we sent something like a. Uh, Something to another planet, the next planet was Earth, like to create life, like, you know, organisms and tiny little microbes and stuff of, of life to Earth, which sprawled and over millions and millions of years evolved, which is the evolution theory. I think that came from us. I think we created us from a previous planet of existence. There you go. Conspiracy of the day. Hit up in the chat if you want a few more of these videos. I'm going to try and do a few more, at least one a week. Um, but please smash a like on the video, hit the subscribe button, and uh, recommend me some videos to react to. And, uh, and hopefully <laughs> we can do a few more. I'll see you on the next one.